Hello, today we are going to discuss about orthogonal matrix. A square matrix A is called an orthogonal matrix if suppose A is a square matrix square matrix and it is called an orthogonal matrix if A A transpose is equals to A transpose A is equals to I. Okay, if A is an orthogonal matrix, then A transpose equals to I. That means we can write it as A A transpose equals to I. Therefore, the determinant of A A transpose is equals to 1. And that means determinant of A multiplied by determinant of A transpose equals to 1. And this implies determinant of A squared is equals to 1. As we know that determinant of A and determinant of A transpose both are same. Therefore, determinant of A is going to be plus minus 1. Thus, every orthogonal matrix is non-singular and hence it is invertible. Therefore, they are non-singular and invertible okay so this is a very important point to remember now we are going to discuss some useful results on orthogonal matrix if a and b be n road orthogonal matrices then a b and b a are also orthogonal so this is the theorem and we need to prove this so Let's start the proof. Let me take another color. Okay. Since A and B are both square matrices of order N, they are both square matrices matrices of order N. Therefore, AB is also a square matrix of order n. Therefore, we can say that AB is also a square matrix of order n. Now, AB and AB transpose can be written as AB multiplied by AB transpose can be written in this form that is AB and we know that AB transpose can be written as B transpose multiplied by A transpose. Okay. Now AB AB transpose is equals to A B B transpose a transpose okay next a b a b whole transpose is equals to a i multiplied by a transpose okay as we know that B, B transpose is I as B is a orthogonal matrix. We know this by definition. And again, A, B, A, B whole transpose can be written as A, A transpose which is also equals to I. Therefore, this implies that A, B uh, is an orthogonal matrix. Similarly, we can prove that BA is also orthogonal. Similarly, we can prove that BA is also 
orthogonal okay now let us check an example suppose a matrix a is given by 1/3 of 1 2 2 with the first row in the second row we have 2 1 minus 2 and in the last row we have minus 2 2 and minus 1 now we need to find that a is a orthogonal matrix or not so we know that by definition that if a is orthogonal matrix then a transpose is going to be i so let's check it so a transpose is going to be 1 by 9 after multiplying the scalar portion that is one third we have 1 by 9 as scalar in a transpose and we write the two matrices and then multiplying these two matrices okay so the first element is going to be 1 plus 4 minus 4 that is 1 the second element is going to be 2 plus 2 plus 4 2 plus 2 plus 4 that is 8 oh no sorry this is going to be sorry we made a mistake here we need to write the transpose of this matrix therefore we delete it, this portion and write it again sorry for the inconvenience 1 by 9 1 2 2 2 1 minus 2 minus 2 2 minus 1 and this matrix is going to be 1 2 minus 2 2 1 2 2 minus 2 minus 1 therefore in the first place we get 4 plus 4 plus 1 that is 9 in the next place we get 2 plus 2 minus 4 that is 0 and again we get 0 here and here we also get 2 plus 2 minus 4 that is 0 here we get 9 here we get 0 here also 0 0 and 9 so this is going to be 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so this is i3 hence the proof Therefore, A is a A is an orthogonal matrix. Okay. So that's all for today. Thank you very much.